I've been dabbing for years. I've done a lot of different dabs off a lot of different nails, a lot of different rigs, tons of setups. I used a lot of titanium and ceramic back in the day. And I feel nowadays most people are using quartz unless you're using an e-rig. And really, there's only like two types of quartz nails that most people are considering, bangers and terp slurpers. And there's a lot of different kinds of bangers. There's a lot of different kinds of terp slurpers, but I view that as two categories that most people look to when they're buying a nail for a rig. This is a question I get asked about a lot on my Twitch stream, and I do a lot of dabs over there. So if you want to have a sesh with me, tune into twitch.tv slash coupons. I go live after 9 p.m. Eastern for a sesh. But turp slurpers and quartz bangers are two of the most common types of nails, whether you're using a round bottom banger, flat bottom, opaque bottom banger, whether you're using a big slurper, small slurper, a blender style. You can mix up the different kits that you use, different pearls or pills. I've seen some cool noodles and screws inside of terp slurpers. There's a lot of cool sets for it, but fundamentally there are different types of nails and they're meant for different types of dabs. So I want to say in general, a banger is like your average run of the mill nail. It's good for most situations and it can and should give you good dabs if you're using it properly. It's also much better for cold starts. If you watch any of my content, you know I prefer cold starts over hot start dabs. And a banger is way easier to do a cold start on. In fact, a lot of slurpers are not great for cold starts and you might not have a lot of success with it because it's not really designed for that. It is designed for a hot start. But one of the major differences and one of the things that does make them different, and it's probably the reason that I don't use terp slurpers or I don't like them that much, is a slurper is designed for a bigger dab. It has more surface area for your concentrate to vaporize. You can put a bigger dab on there and it'll handle it just fine. Most bangers, if you put like a huge dab on there, you're probably going to have to reheat it, which isn't a bad thing. It just doesn't hold as much heat as a lot of slurpers and it doesn't have as much surface area to vaporize your concentrate. And a slurper, because it's designed for a bigger dab, it's designed for like a larger workload essentially, is a little bit more work. You have to spend more time cleaning it because it's designed for hot start you got to use the ISO in between each dab. You got to remove your pills and your pearls and your marble set and clean all that up before you get ready for your next torch session, your next dab. Where if you're doing cold starts on a banger, you can just wipe it with a dry Q-tip and then put another dab on there. You're not really going to torch it hot enough to chaz it. So if you're setting out to do like a huge dab, you want to do like a half gram, a one gram dab, something like that. It's probably better to use a slurper. You're going to be able to get the hit in a shorter amount of time. You can get like nice, big, low temp hits on a slurper where it might be a little bit harder on a banger because you're not going to hold that temperature as long. The slurper just has so much more surface area. So while you're holding that low temperature, it just has more places for your concentrate to vaporize. So a slurper can be nice for certain situations, but like for everyday dabbing, it's not ideal. It's more work to clean in between each hit. And because it's designed for a bigger dab, you're gonna have better results using a bigger amount of concentrate for your hits. So this causes a lot of people to waste dabs. I'm fully behind the statement that most people just dab too much. They scoop too much for their hits, they dab too often, and they're not really enjoying it. Yes, it's, it's called a dab for a reason. You're supposed to do a small amount and get high. Oh, bro, he just can't do big globs like me. There's like a diminishing return at a certain point, and if you're just going through a half a gram every hit, you're not getting as high as somebody who's dabbing less than you, I'm sorry. So there's a lot of things out there that just like make it too easy for somebody to ruin their tolerance or overindulge in a sense and just use too much. And slurpers are one of those. Like most average slurpers don't do well with a dab under like a quarter gram. And it feels silly in some cases, especially if you have like a nice big slurper, to put like a small dab on there. You put a 0.05 or a 0.1 on like a big slurper, it feels a little silly. It's like cooking one french fry in like a giant oven. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Now, there are different sizes of bangers. You can get a huge banger that has as much or more surface area than a terp slurper. But if you consider the designs and where the heat is held on a banger, most of it's at the bottom. Sometimes you're heating up the sides. It can be good for like a bigger dab if you have like the right banger for it. I have a ton of bangers. I have a ton of slurpers and blenders. And I, at the end of the day, even though I know like a round bottom can be better for cold starts, I like a flat bottom banger with a nice thick bottom. 
I think using the right cap and pearl and making sure you spread the oil around can help you get that perfect dab. It varies between rigs and nails that I use if I'm using a bigger or smaller one. But I'm just letting you know my preference. I've used a ton of nails. And at the end of the day, if I'm reaching for something, it's going to have a flat bottom that's a little bit thicker. Either way, let me know what kind of nail you prefer in the comments. Come smoke with me on Twitch after 9 p.m. Eastern. Link your Amazon Prime to give me that Jeff Bezos money. And if you don't know why Terp Pearls are so good, check out this video right here. We talked about the nails, but what about the thing you put in the nail to help your dab? Have a lit day, my dudes.